Today is a great date for me because today I can finally touch Lambda Plus by Row and it's mind blowing because you can convert any, by any I mean any function into array formula and it's just great. Let's see how to do it. Okay, let's play with some samples. Let's create uh, some numbers. Doesn't matter what numbers it is, and create a spark line on the fly. Really easy uh, example, and I saw it from uh, Ben Collins' uh, article, and uh, it's already published on the web. So I just repeat this technique. So okay, we will do by row just to understand this technique. Next, select our range and finally spark line, but we need a lambda first. A lambda and next, our row will have Alice, it will be R, no, no. And next, spark line and that's fascinating, spark line by R, by our variable so it looks like real programming now and you have the spark lines uh, they don't uh, look uh, very beautiful and i want to add uh, new data in between just to show you and maybe change uh, spark line bar uh, uh, chart chart type into bar or into columns let me just copy this and add this Condition chart type, I don't need this max, I'll delete it and instead of bar I want columns here because it will be just great for me and of course not forget to close these curly brackets for array. Uh, now let's see uh, what's wrong with it. Let's shortly uh, see what's wrong with my formula. Value values, proclaim parameter value chart type is uh, columns. It should be column. Okay, column without this and now it works and it, it I like it more than this line because with columns you can easily compare but now you can do it with array formula which is great next example formula text when this is example is exactly new for me and I didn't see it earlier okay you can do formula text with one formula let's delete this example and create new one here it will be formula uh, divided by 55, here formula 1 plus 2, here formula, I don't know, is date of 1, it was false. Okay, and formula text. Uh, if I do it in a regular way, array formula of formula text and give it an array, nothing happens, just one thing. And if, if I edit my for function, I see it uh, adjust but only one function, but I want to make it uh, like an array. By row, next select only one column of data, it's important, in which you have this formula. Next, lambda and r is our value. Next, I want to know formula text formula text and it will also help me inside lambda and close brands and you see and why when I edit my formula I will plus 5 and it adjusts the formula on the fly so it's like formula text array formula with formula text so it's great it's great uh, and I, I even can I am uh, I have too much emojis, uh, emotions and I cannot share it with you in the proper way. You see how I talk, how I speak. Uh, next is date array formula, which uh, was treated as not possible here. It is not date, it is number. And this will be a date, okay. Uh, let it be current date. And uh, some dates and also date and time, only time and date and time and uh, some text. Okay, I want to know is date array formula. Let's look at it. Array formula with is date, is date, and get this. Nothing happens. Only one value, but the same technique. By row. Next, our range, our column. Next, lambda. 
I'll get, I, I'll get used to it soon, I guess. Because now I misspell lambda. Lambda next our variable r r and next is date of r of r. Sorry, r should be lowercase. I guess it is case sensitive, but we'll check it. Uh, okay. Uh, now I see I missed. Uh, I added two uh, two uh, commas. I needed only one, and next, now it works. And you see, this is true because it's that date and time, and it's date and time. This be became true uh, for uh, time only. Uh, okay, never mind. We can uh, check it because as it is time, it's not uh, an equal and uh, it not not an, an integer. So we can add condition with an integer. Let's add it to and is date and how to check it is an integer integer of r minus r should be equals zero so this is the function and next you have you have this false false uh, true for that so it's only for uh, dates and now so you can play with it so it will work and with text and with any data type but the main thing here is is date plus array formula formula text plus array formula now uh, we've looked at these three samples and I also want to show you import XML it's some advanced samples that's because uh, that is the reason why I prepared it already for you and here it is I uh, bring uh, my uh, video yeah so let's see it's the same biro plus lambda plus R but we have more condition and next image plus import XML so both image and import XML cannot work with arrays but now they can and it's just great you see when I add something here let add Google Sheets I don't know what what will happen let's see together uh, Google Sheets and it's loading and I see Google Sheets okay uh, let it be uh, happy I don't know I'm really happy now because all this stuff is working now so we can get pictures with array formula uh, please don't uh, remember all this stuff if you want I'll just add this function text in the comment to this video and finally you can say goodbye in a formula way let's see how now you can create a spark line as I said with array formula and if you create spark line with the type bar you can create uh, easily some lettering like this, which I've uh, made. So this means you can say goodbye to your old and bad clumsy formulas and say hello to Lambda plus by row plus different options. Try it and uh, I'm waiting for your comments. Thank you.